I want to ask you about your um, uh, new live album, Screaming Murder Dead from Above, live in Aleborg, recorded in Denmark. The story goes that you didn't know this uh, show was being recorded at all. And uh, what did it feel like to suddenly get this recording of such a great show that you didn't know of? <laughs> it was very surprising because, uh, you know, it's uh, it's a, a great thing for modern technology that <laughs> something like this can happen. You're completely clueless. What had happened is at the end of the show, which was just one of the shows on the tour, the sound man came up to Mike and said, great show, man. I taped it here. And he handed him a memory stick. <laughs> and Mike just put it in his pocket and forgot about it. Okay. And then six months later, we were like, we need to put something out because the new studio album was taking time and we were dragging our behinds. We said, let's put something live out maybe. Do we have anything? So he says, well, I've got a few memory sticks, some shows that were recorded. I don't know. And he checked it out and was blown away and said, you've got to hear this. It's like perfect live album. Okay, it's so like, what can fans expect to hear from this record? It's a great document of the band live. It's, you know, the it's it ticks all the boxes. It's out of control, but it's tight. And, you know, hey, we're in tune, which is amazing. Pretty much <laughs> in tune anyway. Uh, and it's it's real. The only thing we fixed was I'd broken a string on the bass, which I never do. And um, there was like five seconds of dead air while I'm... You know, with my wireless headset, I'm singing and running over to change bases and take the wireless out of one, plug it in the other, put it on, and five seconds of dead air. So we fixed that because obviously it would have sounded a bit ridiculous otherwise. And other than that, everything is real. Everything is exactly as it happened. And that doesn't happen too often with live records these days, you know, because because of Pro Tools and the technological advance, it's very easy to say, well, I could do that better. Let me just change that. Let me just change this. And before long, you've got a studio album. Yeah. You know? And that's, that's, kind of, that's kind of pointless. It's like, yeah, we, we know you can do a studio album. But the, the whole thing about a live album is like, what can you do on that night? And that's the other cool thing about this. It's, it's all from one night. Yeah. Which is rarely the case. I mean, our first album was from multiple nights. So, you know, it, it, it works and it's fine, but it's just nice to see this was a moment in time and this is what happened, you know, a yeah. real document. Great. Uh, so Mike Heller is filling in for Joel Hesselwender on drums. Uh, I mean, he's... Well, Mike, Mike, Mike Heller is actually our new drummer. He's, he's, he's Officially now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what's it like working with him now? Uh, well, it's certainly different. He's in many ways 180 degrees different. He's a uh, very outspoken. Uh, he's very, very talented. He's an amazing talent, and the to to have him on board and bring in his expertise as to what's going on is it's just been a revelation. It's been really good. It's just kicked our game up to the next level. And um, he's just a phenomenal talent. He's got great ideas and boundless energy. And it's it's just been a whole different ball game for us. So that that's you know, that was a, a major factor. You know, Joe had his heart attack in May two thousand seventeen. He was winding down, he didn't want to go out on the road anymore. Yeah, you know, every, everything seemed to be bothering him one way or another. So it's it's good for him. He's able to spend time with his family and do his thing, you know, do his solo stuff. I'm sure. But we wanted to up our game and do more, work harder, do more. And now we can do that. And we have uh, a guy on the drums who can not only bring to it what we want, he can go beyond that. Uh-huh. And then that that kicks our behinds. So, I mean, the new studio I'm working on, I mean, technically it's the most difficult stuff we've probably played in many, many years. It, it, was a, it was a bit of a stretch. And like all things like that, it's great. It's a learning process. You work hard, you learn it, and then once you can play it, you can play it, you know? But it, it's, that's what it's all about. Thanks for watching. 
And if you want more music news, just subscribe to Ultimate Guitar TV and press that little bell to get notifications.